I'm Brandon with Redstone Solar. In this video, we're going to be installing two of the new LG batteries. These uh, ship in separate pallets, one battery per pallet. There's, there's four boxes. So you'll have the upper control unit in a separate box. Down here, you'll have some of the uh, uh, components of fasteners and the bottom plate. And then these two boxes below, you'll have battery A and battery B. So you have two brackets. One is the bracket that goes onto the wall. And then one is a plate that spans between the, the control unit on the battery and the bracket on the wall like that. Here's the base. It's not a wall mount. They sit on the floor. Also some long bolts to secure the battery control unit to the top of the battery. And then get some different grommets for bringing the wiring into the top of the control unit. And some little zip ties to secure the wiring inside of the control unit. You have these two plates that come in the box. These will fasten to the bottom on the side of the two packs in order to connect them to the base plate and connect them together. There's a separate plastic bag with this thick white paper. So if you tape this up against the wall and have it rest on the floor, you know exactly how high your bracket needs to be off the floor. You can adjust this to make sure that you're, you're hitting the studs and getting your uh, bolts or lacks where you want them. We just marked for studs. The one right there in the center we're gonna try to hit. And then we'll put just a toggle bolt or molly bolt on the other side. We do it right here. So pack B goes in the back. Notice that there's these two cardboard pieces that specifically say they're spacers. This is the same depth as this bracket. So you can put it up against the wall or the foundation. And then there'll also be handy for installing the uh, top portion of the battery. This is where the uh, battery connections will be. So here's the battery control unit. You gotta get this set up here and then you have to plug in wires. And when you plug this in, there's a little red tab. Press that tab in. So next you take the top portion of the battery off. That's going to expose um, the area where you need to put these long flanges in those flanges will go down and connect the top portion of the battery to the individual battery packs and at the same time you'll also put a plate down that will connect the battery pack to the wall. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and install the second battery pack, finish running the conduit, and pull wire, including ethernet, for the communications. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. Next up, we will have a time lapse of the entire installation.